Good day everyone, so I am Jay Louie of the Aptap and I am the leader of our group and today we're going to show you some real life examples of gas laws by applying the concept of Abogadre's law and Boyle's law in which my group mates will be the one who will demonstrate and explain the concept. So the first one is Boyle's law and Bonito Ladaza will demonstrate that one and to be followed by Sara May Picardo for the explanation of the concept. discovered that volume is inversely proportional to pressure with the constant temperature. Today, we now know it as the formula for Boyle's law. In the example, as Mr. Lataza prepares for his sibling's birthday, um, he inflates the balloons by trapping gases inside and thus reducing its volume, but also increases the pressure inside the balloons. And if he let the balloon go, or as he inflates it, he would accidentally let it go and fail to tie a knot at the end. So the gas will definitely be released. It will be mixed with other gases in the air and increase its volume. However, the pressure inside the balloon will definitely decrease and eventually be reduced to nothing. That's it. So the next one is uh, the Avogadro's law and Janine Dane Placer will demonstrate that one followed by the explanation of the concept to be shared by Filmer Bebs Palahang. Based on the demo, the girl, or my co-member, tested out her new perfume if it smells good by smelling it. As she inhales, the volume of the lungs of her lungs increases and it expands. And as she exhales, the volume of her lungs decreases. What she did is under Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law stated that under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, equal volumes of different gases contains an equal number of molecules. In other words, the volume and the amount of gas are directly proportional if the temperature and pressure are constant. Avogadro's law investigates the relationship between the amount of gas and volume. It's a directly proportional or it has a direct relationship, meaning the volume of gas is directly proportional to the number of moles the gas sample present. This law is important because it helps us save time and money in the long run. In the, in the conclusions, as what the first lady stated, which is the problem number one, 
when you put um, gases in the in the balloon or when you inflate the balloon, the volume of the balloon will decrease, so as the pressure will will increase. Meanwhile, when you let go of the balloon in the air, the volume increases and the pressure and the pressure will will decreases. So that's what you call um the Boyle's law, which is the volume in is that is inversely proportioned to pressure with a constant of temperature.